the Pokwas Interchange stands as a symbol of progress, a testament to Ghana's future-focused vision. Its story is one of innovation, debate, and community impact, encapsulating the challenges and triumphs of infrastructure development. As vehicles glide through its tiers, they carry with them the hopes of a nation on the move, propelled by the promise of smoother journeys ahead. Background of the Pokwas Interchange the genesis of a vision. The journey to erect the Pokowas Interchange started with an ambitious dream under the governance of John Dramani Mahama in 2016. The inception of this dream was born out of a necessity to unravel the notorious traffic jams plaguing Pokuase Junction, a critical node in Accra's bustling metropolis. Originally conceived as a three-tier interchange, this project was poised to offer a much-needed solution to the city's congestion woes. It was a vision that promised to redefine mobility in Accra, setting the stage for an infrastructural revolution that would later evolve beyond its initial blueprint. A shift in vision. However, the narrative of the Pokuas interchange took a dramatic turn with the advent of a new administration led by President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo. In a bold move, the new government reimagined the project's scope, elevating it from a three-tier to a four-tier interchange. This pivotal decision was not just a testament to the government's ambition, but also a reflection of a deeper commitment to addressing Accra's traffic challenges more comprehensively. The redesign marked the beginning of a new chapter, one that promised to set the Pokuas interchange apart as the largest of its kind in West Africa. The Path to Realization Embarking on the path to realization, the construction of the Pokuas interchange commenced in 2018. It was a monumental task that required meticulous planning, substantial financial investment, and a steadfast resolve to overcome the myriad of challenges that lay ahead. The project's magnitude and its potential impact on the daily lives of Accra's residents made it a focal point of national interest. As the construction progressed, it became a symbol of progress. Each milestone achieved a step closer to transforming the landscape of Accra's transportation network. Financing the dream. Financing this gargantuan project was no small feat. With an estimated cost of $94.8 million, the funding for the Pokuas Interchange came from a strategic partnership between the African Development Bank and the Government of Ghana. This collaboration underscored the project's significance not only to Accra, but also to the broader West African region. It was a financial commitment that demonstrated confidence in the project's potential to catalyze growth, improve mobility, and enhance the quality of life for the city's inhabitants. As the funds were secured and the construction forged ahead, the dream of the Pokuas interchange gradually morphed into a tangible reality, setting the stage for a transformative impact on Ghana's infrastructural landscape. Significance of the Pokuas Interchange The Pokuas Interchange, as a monumental edifice in Accra, Ghana, transcends mere infrastructure to become a pivotal piece in the puzzle of urban planning and development. Its strategic placement and design speak volumes about its potential to revolutionize the way residents and visitors navigate the bustling city. This interchange isn't just a route, it's a testament to the foresight of creating a fluid, dynamic urban environment where progress and daily life seamlessly intertwine. Strategic Connector At its core, the Pokwas Interchange serves as a critical junction linking several major roads and highways. This includes the Insawam Road and the George Walker Bush Highway, among others. By facilitating smoother transitions between these key thoroughfares, the interchange stands as a vital conduit for economic activities, significantly reducing travel time and enhancing productivity for countless commuters and businesses alike. Congestion alleviation. 
Accra's growth, while remarkable, has been accompanied by increasing traffic congestion, affecting the quality of life and economic efficiency. The Pokuas Interchange directly addresses this challenge, offering a well-thought-out solution that eases the vehicular load and improves traffic flow. This is crucial for a city aiming to maintain its pace of development without being hindered by gridlocks and delays. Blueprint for future projects. Beyond its immediate benefits, the interchange represents a blueprint for future infrastructure endeavors in Ghana and West Africa. By successfully executing a project of this magnitude and complexity, it sets a precedent for what is possible in regional infrastructure development, encouraging ambitious projects that can further transform the urban landscape and stimulate economic growth. In essence, the Pokwas Interchange is much more than a feat of engineering. It is a beacon of innovation and a cornerstone of Accra's infrastructure, promising a smoother, more efficient future for all who traverse this vibrant city. Through its strategic significance, it not only alleviates congestion, but also propels Ghana forward on its journey towards sustainable urban development and regional leadership in infrastructure excellence, construction timeline and funding. The journey from vision to reality for the Pokwa's interchange was marked by ambitious planning and significant financial investment. The construction phase, initiated in 2018, unfolded over three years of diligent work, showcasing a commendable level of dedication and expertise from all involved. The culmination of these efforts was witnessed in July 2021, when the interchange was finally commissioned, serving as a beacon of developmental success in Ghana. The timeline not only reflects the complexity and challenges inherent in such a large-scale project, but also the resolute commitment to overcoming these obstacles. The financial scaffolding that supported the construction of the Pokwas Interchange was both robust and multifaceted. With an allocation of $94.8 million, the project was buttressed by a partnership between the African Development Bank and the Government of Ghana. This partnership underscores the strategic importance of the interchange, not just for Accra or Ghana, but as a vital artery in the regional infrastructure network. The funding arrangement can be broken down as follows. Primary funding. The bulk of the financial resources came from the African Development Bank, highlighting the project's significance in the broader context of regional development. Government contribution, the government of Ghana, recognizing the critical nature of the interchange, also allocated substantial funds, showcasing a commitment to national and urban development. Additional resources. While the primary funding covered the majority of the costs, additional resources were likely marshaled to address unforeseen challenges and ensure the project's successful completion. Amid this financial landscape, the project stirred controversy, especially with the decision to transform the initially proposed three-tier interchange into a more complex and costly four-tier structure. This decision reflected a bold vision for Accra's future, but also sparked debates on fiscal responsibility and urban planning. Despite these debates, the funding and subsequent execution of the project highlighted a significant commitment to solving long-standing transportation issues in the city, signaling a willingness to invest in long-term solutions over short-term fixes. The construction timeline and funding of the Pokuas Interchange paint a picture of a country poised on the brink of infrastructural revolution. The collaborative financial efforts and the unwavering dedication over the years have resulted in a landmark achievement that stands as a testament to what can be accomplished when vision, commitment and resources converge. This journey not only reshapes the physical landscape of Accra, but also sets a precedent for future infrastructure projects in Ghana and beyond. Controversy surrounding the project. The shift from a three-tier 
to a four-tier design for the Pokuas interchange ignited a fiery debate among Ghana's political factions, particularly between the incumbent government and the opposition National Democratic Congress, DC. The NDC expressed concerns that the redesign was not just an unnecessary expenditure, but also a deviation from the original plan they had set in motion. This contention underscored the often politically charged nature of large-scale infrastructure projects where visions and plans can become battlegrounds for competing ideologies and governance approaches. Amidst the controversy, the government stood firm on its decision, positing that the four-tier interchange was essential for alleviating the chronic traffic congestion in Accra more effectively than the originally planned three-tier structure. Their argument hinged on future-proofing the city's infrastructure to accommodate growing traffic demands. This perspective introduces an important dimension to the debate, the need for infrastructure projects to be adaptable and scalable in anticipation of future needs, even if it means revising initial plans. The public discourse surrounding the interchange's redesign was vibrant, with citizens and civil society organizations weighing in through various platforms, from social media to public forums. The debate highlighted the critical role of public engagement and transparency in the execution of major infrastructure projects. It served as a reminder that while technical considerations are paramount, public opinion and acceptance are equally crucial for the success and sustainability of such projects. As the controversy simmered, the successful completion and subsequent commissioning of the Pokwas Interchange in July 2021 shifted the narrative from political discord to national achievement. Despite the heated debates, the project's completion demonstrated the capacity of infrastructure development to transcend political divides. Ultimately, the Pokuas interchange stood as a testament to progress, embodying the complexities and compromises inherent in bringing monumental projects to fruition. The controversy, while significant, became a chapter in the broader story of how ambitious infrastructure endeavors can challenge, divide, but ultimately unify and propel a nation forward. Impact on mobility and local community, reducing congestion and improving travel times. The completion of the Pokuas interchange has significantly transformed the daily commute for thousands of Accra's residents. By offering a fluid connection between major highways, the interchange has drastically reduced the infamous traffic congestion for which Accra was known. Commuters now experience shorter travel times, enabling them to spend less time on the road and more time with their families or at work. This improvement in mobility is not just a matter of convenience, it's a boost to the local economy as goods and services can move more freely throughout the city. Enhancing safety and accessibility. Another noteworthy impact of the Pokwas interchange is the increased safety and accessibility it provides for all road users. The design of the interchange, which includes dedicated pedestrian pathways and modern traffic management systems, ensures a safer environment for pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers alike. The inclusion of two footbridges as part of the project further exemplifies the commitment to ensuring that the benefits of the interchange extend to the most vulnerable road users, providing them with safe crossing points that were previously lacking. Stimulating Local Economy and Development The ripple effects of the Pokwas interchange on the local economy and development are profound. The construction phase itself created numerous jobs, injecting vitality into the local economy. Beyond this, the improved transport links have made the surrounding areas more attractive for business investments and development projects. Local businesses now enjoy better access to markets and a wider customer base, fostering economic growth and prosperity in the community. The interchange has thus become a catalyst for development, paving the way for future economic opportunities in Accra 
and beyond, fostering community engagement and development. The project's impact extends beyond the realms of mobility and economic growth, deeply touching the lives of the local community. Initiatives such as the rehabilitation of the Kapobiman Women's Group Center and the Manchi Gari Factory have provided valuable training and economic opportunities, especially for women. These efforts not only promote local industries, but also empower community members, fostering a sense of pride and ownership over the project. Furthermore, the provision of ICT labs for 14 basic schools has strengthened educational infrastructure, benefiting thousands of students and underscoring the project's commitment to sustainable community development, preserving environmental and cultural heritage. In the midst of urban development, the Pokoas Interchange Project has not overlooked the importance of environmental and cultural preservation. The protection of the three-hectare Gua Sacred Forest as part of the project is a testament to this commitment. By balancing development needs with environmental conservation, the project has ensured that progress does not come at the expense of Ghana's rich natural and cultural heritage. This approach serves as a model for future infrastructure projects, highlighting the possibility of harmonious development that respects and preserves local traditions and the environment. The Pokuas Interchange stands as a beacon of progress, not only in terms of mobility and economic development, but also in its profound impact on the local community and environment. It exemplifies how thoughtful infrastructure development can uplift a community, improve the quality of life, and pave the way for a brighter future. Government's commitment to infrastructure development. The unveiling of the Pokuas interchange stands as a monumental testament to the Ghanaian government's unwavering commitment to infrastructure development. Under the leadership of President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo, this project transcends mere transportation convenience. It symbolizes a broader vision for progress and development that the administration aspires to achieve across the nation. The government's dedication to enhancing urban mobility and the quality of life for its citizens is evident in its strategic planning and significant investment in public infrastructure. At the commissioning ceremony of the interchange, President Akufo Addo eloquently highlighted the project as a critical milestone in Ghana's developmental journey. His speech underscored the administration's approach to infrastructure as an integral part of national development. This commitment is not limited to the Pokuas interchange, but extends to several other ongoing and completed projects designed to alleviate congestion, improve road safety, and ensure seamless transportation across urban and rural areas alike. Ongoing infrastructure projects, the Government of Ghana is currently working on several other major infrastructure projects that demonstrate its commitment to improving the nation's transportation network. These include the Phase 2 of the Obetsebi Lamti Interchange, the Tamale Interchange, the PTC Roundabout Interchange in Takaradi, the Nungua Interchange. Each of these projects serves as a cornerstone in the government's strategic plan to modernize Ghana's infrastructure landscape. By systematically addressing the challenges of urban mobility and congestion, the government aims to foster a conducive environment for economic growth and development. Moreover, these projects signify the administration's resolve to invest in the future of Ghana, ensuring that the benefits of development touch every corner of the nation and improve the daily lives of its citizens. The Pokuas Interchange is just the beginning of a far-reaching vision that the Ghanaian government holds for the country's infrastructure. The commitment displayed by President Akufo Addo and his administration in realizing this vision reflects a profound understanding of the pivotal role infrastructure plays in shaping the destiny of a nation. As Ghana continues on this path of progress, the government's dedication to infrastructure development 
promises to usher in an era of unprecedented growth and prosperity, making Ghana a shining example of development in West Africa and beyond. The Pokuas Interchange, an emblem of modernization in Accra, Ghana, encapsulates the aspirations, debates, and tangible impacts of major infrastructure developments. As we've journeyed through the background, significance, and the ebbs and flows of its construction, the project unfolds as a multifaceted narrative that intertwines with the daily lives of countless individuals. From its inception, under John Dramani Mahama's vision, to the expanded realization under President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo, the interchange has been a focal point of both admiration and contention. This structure, however, transcends its physical form. It stands as a testament to Ghana's relentless pursuit of progress, embodying the promise of enhanced mobility, economic opportunities, and an uplifted quality of life for the local community. The controversies that shadowed its construction phase reflect the passionate dialogue that infrastructure can ignite, underscoring the importance of such projects in the national conversation. Furthermore, the Pokuas interchange has emerged as a beacon of the government's commitment to infrastructural development, echoing a pledge to forge a path to a more connected and prosperous future. It is a concrete illustration of what can be achieved when vision, commitment, and collaboration converge. As vehicles weave through its tiers, the Pokwas interchange is more than just a marvel of engineering. It is a harbinger of hope, a driver of change, and a milestone in Ghana's infrastructural odyssey. Its story is not just of concrete and steel, but of resilience, adaptation, and progress. As we look towards the horizon, the Pokwas interchange serves as a reminder of the journeys we embark upon and the destinations we strive to reach, symbolizing not just where we are, but where we aspire to be, highlighting the possibility of harmonious development that respects and preserves local traditions and the environment. The Pokwas interchange stands as a beacon of progress, not only in terms of mobility and economic development, but also in its profound impact on the local community and environment. It exemplifies how thoughtful infrastructure development can uplift a community, improve the quality of life, and pave the way for a brighter future. Government's commitment to infrastructure development. The unveiling of the Pokuas interchange stands as a monumental testament to the Ghanaian government's unwavering commitment to infrastructure development. Under the leadership of President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo, this project transcends mere transportation convenience. It symbolizes a broader vision for progress and development that the administration aspires to achieve across the nation. The government's dedication to enhancing urban mobility and the quality of life for its citizens is evident in its strategic planning and significant investment in public infrastructure. At the commissioning ceremony of the interchange, President Akufo Addo eloquently highlighted the project as a critical milestone in Ghana's developmental journey. His speech underscored the administration's approach to infrastructure as an integral part of national development. This commitment is not limited to the Pokuas interchange, but extends to several other ongoing and completed projects designed to alleviate congestion, improve road safety, and ensure seamless transportation across urban and rural areas alike. Ongoing infrastructure projects, the Government of Ghana is currently working on several other major infrastructure projects that demonstrate its commitment to improving the nation's transportation network. These include the Phase 2 of the Obetsebi Lamti Interchange, the Tamale Interchange, the PTC Roundabout Interchange in Takoradi, the Nungua Interchange, 
Each of these projects serves as a cornerstone in the government's strategic plan to modernize Ghana's infrastructure landscape. By systematically addressing the challenges of urban mobility and congestion, the government aims to foster a conducive environment for economic growth and development. Moreover, 